Yeah. Look how the diamond bleed off my jet. Fresh in my white teeth. See the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. Gene Deal claims Diddy forced Biggie to go to LA. Now I know Biggie was signed to Diddy or whatever the case may be, but ain't no man. I don't give a fuck how much money you got, nigga. You ain't forcing me to go nowhere. The hell? But this sound pretty interesting, though, so let's get it, baby. Woo! How do you feel about DJ Twerk can't pass it away? I know that had to be hard for you, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. My man, you really, 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 really trying to get a brother to get emotional on this camera right now. Why? DJ Clark Kent, just like K Slay, was one of the brothers who was pioneering the sound of rap in New York City. How did he die? I what know happened? DJ Clark Kent from the club scenes and him running in and out to different studios and the different places, you know, with his music. I didn't know that DJ Clark Kent had cancer and was strictly oh, with terminal cancer. Dang. A music executive told me. Dang, and he said he spoke to Clark Kent almost every other day. That's how cool they was. And this music executive who's still strong in the business and still have a, a, a client that's big in the business is a very good friend of mine and part of one of the cliques I was part of, Slick in the Family. Who is it? 50 Cent? I don't know. For a kid, um, about a year or two ago, went on air and he told the story about the night he went to the notorious big room he told the story about the night he went to the notorious big room when the big was big about room. to go to the peterson museum that sounds kind of freaky the fuck? he told big not to go he asked big what is he going there for anyway and he said that Big told him that D-Rock and Puff set it up for him to go there. Oh my God, it was goddamn set up, fuck! Now why is D-Rock setting his man to go up anywhere? I don't know. But if you understood while we was out to California and Puff took D-Rock and him and D-Rock stayed gone all day, just leaving Big I understood. Exposed. What the fuck? When Big said D Rock and Puck set it up, that Puff and them had to get Big to that party. You had to. For Clark Kent, knowing that he was going to die from terminal cancer, he came out and told that story, bro that he had held with him for over 20 some years. Like that story what? meant so much to me, brother. Cause I used to feel guilty to myself, even though big was not my principal. You want everybody in your crew or everybody who around you to make it home to their mama to make it home to their daughters, their sons, their brothers and their sisters. Big had his own bodyguards. So what happened? But I still knew Big, I still loved Big. I still respected Big. Big used to give me sh Me and Big used to joke with each other, talk about each other. Nah, we wasn't the best of friends, but we had mutual respect for each other. So when Clark Kent told that story, 
about why he was in California. He was supposed well, big asked him to go to London with him. It proved to the people everything that I was saying about that night, that week was true, brother. It proved to the people when I said Puff and D-Rock set Big up to go to that party. When people hear other people saying stuff, that's when they believe it. A lot of times people don't hear what the preacher is talking about. They want to hear it from Jesus. Uh, the you got to believe, especially when you know the character of that man. So the character of that man held that in itself for 20 some odd years. And on the deathbed, he told the truth. It, um, it hit my heart. It hit my heart. Is that a damn cat? She saw me tapping myself, so she went, she know that mean to come. Is that a bunny rabbit? So she Fuck. came. R.I.P. to Clark Kent, man. R.I.P. The fuck is that? R.I.P. to Clark Kent, man. Go ahead, Jinx. Oh, man. Rest in peace, my boy Clark Kent, goddamn. I just find it so crazy for how I've been down there 30 years. People don't know who killed Biggie. People don't know who killed Tupac. These prominent people, nobody knows what happened to that. We crazy. I know Keith D arrested, whatever the case may be, but I don't even think has he even been charged. Like, do they even like what the fuck? What he got going on? Goddamn. These were two. It's just crazy for how these two of the biggest names in rap history. Goddamn. But don't nobody know what happened to that. It's crazy for. Either somebody was really smart, or somebody had Buku money to set it up and get a cover up. I'm thinking somebody had Buku money to set it up and cover it up, goddamn. But y'all let me know what y'all think that will coming. That's it for this video, though, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Like my book bag. And go stream Peter Brown. I know on YouTube. Bye. S T A K T. I'm gonna see y'all next video, man. Big brrrr. Look how the diamond bleed off my dick. Fresh in my white teeth. See the progress. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner. I'm a stunner, stunner, stunner.